Hello and welcome to my channel, How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode is gonna be a short video. It has to do with removing the Pulsar LT when you're having service done at the dealership. Because that Pulsar LT is plugged into the car's computer, it needs to be removed before you take it in because if they have to flash anything on the computer, it will, um, they won't be able to do it. So you need to remove it. It took me five minutes today. You do need to remove disconnect the negative battery terminal and then you take the two connectors and you unplug them both pull the pulse rot out and plug the stock connectors back into each other and slip that back onto uh, that little uh, mounting bracket that's next to the air filter and uh, that's it so let me go ahead and change the position of this camera and then i'll show you uh i'll just point to the stuff anyway take care and <laughs> wait this video is not over yet. Here you go. Check it out. So the first thing you need to do is to remove the negative battery terminal. And then you're going to come over here. Of course, this is the stock upper connector. And the lower connector is already connected to the OEM stock connector. So you're going to go ahead and remove both connectors from both brackets. Because this one came with a bracket that held in the lower connector that plugged into the Pulsar. This one also plugged in to a connector on the Pulsar LT. It took me about five minutes to do. And then my Pulsar LT was over here on the side of the air box. I pulled that off and that was it. And it took me a total of five minutes. So <laughs> not too bad, but just be sure to disconnect the negative battery terminal before you do anything. And one of my uh, viewers had disconnected the control module for the Pulsar LT, but left the cables connected um, to the to the computer. Uh, don't do that. Step one: disconnect the battery terminal. Step two: remove all, remove both of the connectors from the stock OEM connectors, and then just uh, snap the two OEM connectors together, and you're ready to go. I just got back from the dealership from having the transmission flushed. I disconnected the Pulsar LT at 6 a.m. It is now 10.30 a.m. I reconnected it, took about five minutes. And uh, just so you know, it does retain the memory. I checked it out, everything is still stored. Well, it's, it's still set, uh, just like it was before I installed it. So just so you know, make sure that you remove the negative battery terminal and the connectors and then reinstall the battery terminal and then of course the reverse to reinstall it and uh, I guess that's uh, really about it and um, I didn't have to remove it but I wasn't too sure if they were going to have to reprogram the, tr uh, the transmission module so I figured it would just be a safe bet to uninstall it and uh, I was, I was kind of curious as to whether it would be able to retain the memory and uh, yes it does so uh, have a good day, and if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon, and you'll get notifications as new videos come out. And I did sign up with, uh, I got the name wrong again, Super Stickers. So if you want to make a small donation to my channel, it all goes back into uh, buying stuff for my truck. So have a good day, and uh, may your uh, transmission fluid stay uh, nice and clean. <laughs> have a good day. Bye. And I did recently sign up with a uh, thing called, uh, I always get it wrong, super stickers. <laughs> Damn it. Today is uh, Tuesday. I think it is. I can't see my watch. So it's been about four and a half hours. 
So just so you know, it does retain the memory. And these fucking dogs. Tango. I got a cat up there. I don't know what it is. He has to meow every single time I uh, do a little bit of filming. So anyway, that's it. Have a good day.